Where can I say it? Adam's talking oh. up the whole sofa. Fucking, you got a bean bag there. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Four of you already. Brilliant. Welcome to Bournemouth's Beautiful Quiz Part 2, Lockdown 2. Here we go. 50 questions. No stupid bomb around this week. So you might as well all log off now because what's the point? Um, for those early um, viewers, that doesn't make sense, does it? What do we say? What do we, uh, early risers, if you like logging on. And um, the quiz number you'll need is 591913. That's 591913. And to avoid confusion, I'll whack it in the link here. So Jack doesn't try and put any one off. There we go. Yes, that's five nine one nine one. Well, they're going. The we've got some crisps on the go, and what's the point when you got well, kids around? Well, got any? Well, well, we've got another half a packet. In oh, the, thank goodness! The kitchen. Well, that's where your brother's just gone. Mm -hmm. nice Shall I go and get the oh. half packet? Sit on the arm? Okay. We've got eight people, nine people online. Hello, Mother. Hello, Pussy Bear is. Yes, that's her. Do, 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 do. Oh. Let me just move them. So, so um, okay. for those who weren't on the Pictionary, and there's only four, so a few of you, I'm drinking from my new beer glass tonight. Oh, yes. It's a Teku glass. Yes, a Teku glass. A um, Teku glass. And that, I don't want that. Um. You can see how it's shaped. It's shaped to accentuate the flavour of the beer. Mm. No, it isn't. It's just in the shape of a normal beer. It's not mm. normal, though, is it? It's a fancy one. Um, and tonight I'm drinking a Thornbridge brewery beer called Yellamu, which is a double IPA and is 7.4%. So by the end of the quiz, it could get messy. There's 10 of you online. There's 15 already logged on for the quiz. It's looking like a busy one, and we have five minutes left. If you're going to heavy breathe next to me, you can leave. Anyway, so we've got Christine. We've got Paul. Who else is with us tonight, and how has your week been? If you've been in lockdown, how have you been coping? If you've been at work, I hope it's gone all right. I, d I have um, not worn my shirt tonight because I didn't want to. Been on a long walk to Gibraltar Point and haven't really got changed since. I haven't even taken my shoes off. Way. So, um. But what t shirt tonight. are you wearing? Tell it's the people. Shirt. It's just a rugby shirt, darling. Okay. No, 10K. Get it yeah, on. Yeah, 10K we did, yeah. I don't know how anybody can run that. It's too far. So, we've now got 17 on the quiz, 11 watching me spout nonsense. So. I'd prefer if you spouted nonsense on the chat 12. so I know who is here. 12. 13. 13. No, 17. Oh, 17. Mm -hmm. Oh. Active users. Yeah. Uh, what, what flavour crisps there? Sour cream and onion. N nacho. No. What's it called? Adam? Nacho cheese. They're called, they're called moochos. Moochos, that's it. Moochos. moochos. Yeah. They're very noisy. Um, get my beer out again. I'll describe, seeing as no one's talking, oh, hello, Bernie. Seeing as no one else is talking, um, I'll just describe your beer, my beer, to you. Um, maybe I'll show you the can. Yeah, maybe that'll liven things up a bit. There it is, not yeah. yellow move. I actually went out at um, half seven last night just to get this glass because I was very excited about having a glass like this. And um, it was I'm well worth it. Get a drink. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's just so awesome. I just want to drink everything out of this now. You've got different glasses for different beers. Though. Yeah, different glasses for different beers. I've entered a whole new world of snobbery. Beer snobbery. Um, I'm just debating whether I need a pre-quiz wee. Oh, just rock a bit, see how it feels. Yeah, I think I do, right. I'll leave you in the capable hands of no Adam. one or Adam. I'll just leave him my construct. Right, I'll see you in literally a minute. Oh, because I can't hold it in. Adam. Yeah? Come and talk to people. Is there anybody there? Yeah, there's 
Lots of people there. 15 people. Come and talk to them. These are triangles. You can't eat them, can you? No. Haha. <laughs> They're tasty, though, aren't they? Very tasty. Um. Yes, was it sour cream? Sour cream. Um. Crisps in it. Oh, Christine says hello, Adam. Hello, Christine. How's the eye? Pirate lady. <laughs> uh, Sophie asks, "Have you had a haircut?" Not since the last, not since mm, lockdown. Not since the last one. No. no, no, it's the same, same one. But it's just uh, a bit scruffy tonight. Yes. So, hello to Sophie. And oh. Uh, to the toilet. Oh, Charlotte's off to the bog. We all need to move to now, don't we? Hmm. Isn't that a picture from uh, one of his vlogs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. All done. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. All finished. All extracted. Christine's a pirate. <laughs> oh, Jack's <laughs> putting stupid numbers on there. <laughs> Let me in then. Oh. No. oh. Christine's telling me off now. Oh. God, that was definitely worth it. And I've got rid of my fleecy top yeah so we are on and we have got 25 active users that is nearly a record thank you so much so if you're late to the party it's 591913 and if you're also late to the party check out that class and exciting news for tomorrow just before the quiz starts um it is a very special Bournemouth beer club we are going direct to the brewery in Horncastle to get some old Nick's Taverns beer and taste that live. It's going to be special supporting a local brewer. That's how it should be in these times. So any minute now, we're about to start. We have got 28 users. That's 28. I think 30 is the highest we've ever had. And we've got 18 watching the stream. 18. Wow. Thank you so much. This is huge. We're, we're literally going viral. Any second now, we'll go live. And as I say, there's no stupid bomb around tonight. It's 50 pretty straight questions tonight. Here we go. Wow, bang on. Let's go. When did they open the London Underground? So we're starting with history, like we did last week. Is it 1863? Is it 1893? Is it 1903? Or is it 1823? Hello, Helen. How are you doing? Paul, I expect some jokes flowing through just to keep the conversation going. So when did they open the London Underground? Is it 1863, 1893, 1903, or 1923? Uh, is 1863, as 20% of you said? Yes, not that long ago. New so people. we've got new people. Bend and Stretch. Who are they? I like them. I like the name. So they get extra extra points for that name. Ben the Stretch. Uh, so, yeah, 1863 is when they opened the London Underground. Next question. Who invented the iconic little back dress? Oh, we've got a crying child into the, in the room. Is it Carl Lagerfield? Is it, however you say that, St. Lawrence? Is it Coco Chanel or is it Alexander McQueen? So who invented the iconic Little black dress. I assume there were little black dresses before then, but this was actually known as the little black dress. Who invented it? It is Coco Chanel as a whopping 80% of you said. I didn't have a clue when I saw that question pop up. So well done, everyone who got that right. Um, yeah, Coco Chanel. Brilliant. Um, if anyone could tell me what the rugby score is, that would be great. Um, as I don't have it on the telly, so that'd be great if someone could tell me when, what the rugby score okay. is. Uh, I'm sure one of you will know. Who was the first uh, British monarch to live in Buckingham Palace? Is it Queen Elizabeth II? Is it Queen Victoria? Is it Queen Elizabeth I? Or is it Queen Anne? If you're wondering what the noise is and heavy breathing is, Charlotte just banged her knee. No, I didn't. No, she didn't. 
Put the pen down. I just love this. Where else can you find on YouTube? Family drama. Why have I upset her again? I know I'm an awful person. It's Queen Victoria. It's 59% of you said. And I believe we've got 27 on the quiz tonight. Apart from the very final lockdown quiz from last time, which I believe was back in July. This is the most we've ever had. Hello, Otis. Yeah, hello, Otis. I know you're on because I've seen you in fifth. Well done. Okay, which Shakespeare character killed Tybalt and Paris? Was it Romeo, Rosaline, Count Paris, or Mercurio? Yes, again, a literary question in the history round. But there you go. Uh, the Greek cheese industry is secretly controlled by the Illuminati. Very good, Paul. Good start. Let's just keep it going. Um, so, yeah, it, it is Romeo and Juliet, obviously. But who killed Tybalt and Paris? It is Romeo, as 14% of you got right. Um, so there you go. The hero was a murderer. Mm. Okay, next question coming up. In question five, Mary Tudor was proclaimed Queen of England at which Suffolk Castle in 1553? Is it Bungay Castle? Is it Oxford Castle? Is it I Castle? Or is it Framlingham Castle. Okay, so where was Mary Tudor proclaimed Queen of England? Um, Sarah's going to find out what is the issue with my daughter at the moment because she is in a bit of a state. Um, Framlingham has 33% of you said. How do you write do not touch in Braille? You're unbelievable, Paul. Mm -hmm. oh, does it? Okay. Which popular fitness method was invented by a German? Is it Pilates? Is it HIT? You know, the thing that I've been doing naked for you on my vlogs. Is it yoga or is it hot yoga? Hot yoga. What is the point in that? I don't like being hot anyway. So why would you want to be hot and stretching around like a ball as well? Makes no sense to me. But you never know. If you're into it, you're into it. She's all right, mother. It's Pilates. There's 51% of you said, and that is the sports round. So that means the history round's over. So that means top five time. In fifth is Tommy Tank. In fourth is Sophie. In third is Otis King. Who is second, Charlotte? In second, second is Kaz, and in first is Ben and Stretch. Ben and Stretch. Who is the current captain of the English rugby team? I check this. Is it George Ford, Owen Farrell, Ben Youngs, or Anthony Watson? So that's the current captain of the English rugby team. Is it George Ford, Owen Farrell, Ben Youngs or Anthony Watson? Notice I said current. You can argue the fact or chew the fat over it if you like. But anyway, the answer is <laughs> Owen Farrell as 48% of you said. I remember getting into a fight at school with Timothy Dalton. This may be my favourite joke ever. Stop the, stop the presses. I remember getting into a fight at school with Timothy Dalton. I beat the living daylights out of him. Paul, you've won. You've won the quiz. That's it. It's over. Right. Um, how many balls are there on the table at the start of a game of snooker? Now, think about this. Is it 21, 22, 24 or 18? Is it 21, 22, 24, 18? Or oh, we've got a hand up in the room. I'm not a teacher. Yes, Charlotte. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, you can't tell the people. You did write the questions with me, so you should know, but no, it's not that. Oh, it'll be. It's 22, <laughs> as 40% of you said. Don't forget the white ball. There you go. So everyone is saying, oh, it's 21. No, don't forget the white ball. Where did the rest of the bag of these crisps go, Sarah? Come on. No, that was the whole bag. Okay. It's all right. When they've gone up, we'll have the nice ones. We will. Oh, wait, what was the clothing company like Nike originally called? Is it Yes You Can, The Tick, Just Do It, or Blue Ribbon? That's a biscuit. There's a blue ri blue ribboned oh. a biscuit. We got twenty two on the stream. What's going on? Where have you all come from? Brilliant, thank you. Um, yeah, so the clothing company Nike, Yes You Can, The Tick, Just Do It, or is it Blue Ribbon? It's Blue Ribbon. 
Just twenty five percent. If you said, I know I'd fox a few of you, but I can just do it, which of course is a slogan. Uh, it is blue ribbon. Don't know why. Could be any reason, couldn't it? Never annoy anyone. Never annoy someone with bird puns. Remember, two can play at that game. It's an old one, but sometimes they're the best. Right, which League One team are nicknamed the Chair Boys? And they're actually a championship team now because Norwich just played them. So, oh dear. Uh, first first mistake of the quiz. Uh, Bristol Rovers, Lincoln City, Yeovil Town or Wickham Wanderers. Yes, the chair boys. So, again, they're a championship team now. I do, I do apologise. Uh, you know, I, I'm prone to mistakes. Well, none of us are perfect. Oh, so you've got... Away after this one. Again. And it's Wickham Wanderers as 40% of you said. Oh. This is the end of the sport round, isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, so in fifth place. Okay, the end of the fifth, as in the, the sports round, Sir Charlotte is going to announce the top five. Go. In fifth is Kaz. In fourth is Belushi. In fourth, third, third is Otis. Oh, in third is Otis, and second is so. And Ben Stretch is still in first. Okay, which seaside is home to the longest pier in the UK? Is it Southend on Sea? Is it Skegness, Brighton, or Bournemouth? We are into the geography round. Yeah, so which seaside is home to the longest pier in the UK? South End on Sea, Skegness. Is it Skegness, Brighton or Bournemouth? I'm not being paranoid, but there's a dozen Peruvian owls perched on my fence staring through the window. I think they must be in cahoots. Very good. <laughs> it is South End on Sea, as 34% of you said. I think there's a little train that goes up there all the way to the end, but you can correct me on that if you is wish. The one Oliver, yeah. the yes, I believe so. Anyway, next question. What's the longest viaduct in Great Britain? Is it the Ribblehead Viaduct, the Peniston Viaduct, the Bromford Viaduct, or the Second Seven Crossing? I will let you in a little secret. The Peniston Viaduct is very short. I just wanted to put that name in there. Um, Vic has zero. Oh. Zero. Wow. <laughs> that is decent. <laughs> wow. That is... <laughs> It's 11%. Uh, 11% he said Bromford Viaduct. 11% are right. Um, the Bromford Viaduct carries the M6 motorway between Castle Bromwich and Gravelly Hill and is three and a half miles long, a quarter of a mile longer than the second seven crossing. I thank the Lord that 22% of you said the Peniston Viaduct. Right. How long is the River Thames? Is it 175 miles, 215 miles, 261 miles, or 308 miles? Stop messing with that, Charlotte. You'll be in bed. Is that can empty over there? Yes, it is. Take it through to the kitchen. Then. Uh, Jack's not doing great either, um, but some people are. So let's not have a go at the quiz too quickly. It's 215 miles, as 30% of you said. Um, I'm sorry there's no name the rest of that's maybe what the problem is or name the video game or, uh, but or Richard Bourneborough yeah, Richard, you but know, she'd lived with you for many years um, I'm having to you know we might be here for a while in lockdown so there's a quite a lot of questions and we're having to try and delve deeper which makes it harder okay what is a slang name locals use for New York City is it the Big Apple the Big Easy metropolis or gotham this is what locals use because i know as soon as this answer comes up i will have everyone in these chat there's 22 people going you're an idiot no this is what locals call it all right and i don't like the questions so if you're having a go at me you're having a go at my wife yeah it's gotham that's right a 7.4 percent of you said it is gotham it's used by locals locals we all call it the big apple but locals call it Gotham. Look it up. Um, I am now a qualified counterfeiter and I have a certificate to prove it. Very good. Earthquakes are measured on what scale? Is it the Richter scale? Is it the Richard scale? Is it the Decibel scale? Or is it the Safari Simpson scale? They're all real scales. And this is a gimme. Okay, Vic. So if you're not after this, come on. <laughs> she knows this one. The chef at our local Indian has been beaten up. He's in a coma. <laughs> oh, that is just oh, dreadful. Wrong. Oh. You put it's the Richter scale. Oh, Jack, did you put the Richard scale? <laughs> it ain't. I can't believe it either. 
<laughs> the born barometer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you mean to put the Richard scale? That's cool if you did. Uh, put the ears out the way. Sorry. What? Right. Okay. It's a TV guess. and film and a little bit of books round. What is the name of the final Harry Potter book? Not film. Oh. Is, is it the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows? Or Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Charlotte. It, ne, after this question, do it. After this question. It's not time. It's not time. And the answer is... Oh, man. Harry Potter and the Deathly, Deathly Hallows as 88% of you go. Right, top five, right, go. Right, so in... Um, fifth. fifth is so in four. in fourth is Sharon in third is Belushi in second is Otis and in first is Ben and Stretch. Ben and Stretch. What is the name of the bride played by Uma Thurman in Kill Bill? Is it Oranishi? The bride? Is it simply the bride? Do we never know her name? Which can happen in Quentin Tarantino films. Is it Beatrix Kiddo or is it Benita Green? All characters from Kill Bill. But which one of them was actually the name of the bride? Or is it just the it. bride? If you haven't seen it, watch it, unless you're under 18. And the answer is Beatrix Kiddo, as a third of you put, exactly a third of you. So Ovanishi is the woman she killed at the end of the first one. Benita Green, she killed at the start of the first one in the kitchen the Bride, you didn't know her name for ages, but then you did, and it's Beatrice Kiddo. Okay, which 2019 film won the Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Film of the Year? So these were all pretty average films in that year. Um, Gaz will argue with me and say Men in Black was pretty decent, but I haven't seen it, so I can't, I can't comment. They're all in the top 10 worst films, but which one won the Golden Raspberry Award? Uh, was it Cats, Serenity, Men in Black International, or The Fanatic? And it is Cats, as 80% of you said. A truly shocking film. Um, Serenity, that isn't the excellent space epic by Josh Whedon that came out in like 2010. It was some awful thing Stop with Michael ever. Mahonahay that I watched on Sky. Ugh, awful. Terrible ending as well. Okay, before he was Captain America, which member of the Fantastic Four did Chris Evans play and... Don't argue for a minute. Just read the question. Is it Doctor Doom, Mr. Fantastic, The Thing, or The Human Torch? Doctor Doom has been a member of the Fantastic Four. It's it's in the comics, people. Yeah, it's probably not going to be that because it's way on in the comics. And the Fantastic Four was an origin film. Uh, so it's not A, is it? Uh, but, uh, was it? but it couldn't be Mrs. Fantastic, could he? Let's be honest. Um, so it is The Human Torch, as 84% of you said. Chris Churchill, who knows more than me about films, has told me that Serenity came out in 2005. I should have known that, Chris Churchill, because I actually bought that on DVD when I was still at university. And I definitely wasn't at university in 2010. So, um, yeah, I'm an idiot. The six main stars of Friends appeared in all 236 episodes. Which other character racked up the next most appearances? Is it Richard Burke? Is it Gunther? Is it Janice? Or is it Mike Hannigan, played by Ant-Man? Uh, so I Richard Burke, that's it. Tom Selleck, of course. Uh, Janice, oh, what is that? Has someone trumped in this room? Nope. No. Did you just get a whiff of egg then? No. No, no. probably just me then. Okay, it is Gunther as 57% as you said. Say. I think he was in like 151 episodes. And if you think about it, they always went to the coffee shop in nearly every episode. So, um Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, what did the Buddhist monk say to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. <laughs> I just love that joke. Okay, which brand, here we go, food and drink round, Charlotte, made the drink. chocolate bar cabana in the early 80s? Is it Galaxy? You can take them, Adam. Just eat, eat the bits. Eat, just take them and eat the bits. Is it Galaxy, Mars, Nestle or Cadbury? Uh, no, eat, just go and eat the bits. Mucho. Okay, give us a top ten. Five, go. Right, in fifth is Kaz, in fourth is Sharon, in third is Otis, in... Second is Belushi, and in um, yes. first is Bend and Stretch. Okay, well done. And it is Cadbury. Yeah, Cadbury. I know someone's going to call me a liar for that, but that's the answer, all right? No one got that. No one. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe these are a bit hard. <laughs> Maybe I have got that wrong. No, that's definitely right. Okay. 
What percentage of a mushroom is water? One of my favorite questions ever. <laughs> Who knows this? No one knows this. Is it 80%, 90%, 70%, or 60%? So think about biting into a horrible raw mushroom. How watery does it taste? Does it taste very watery? I'm just a little bit watery. Uh, is it very watery? I'm going to try and help you now. Is it very watery or is it a little bit watery? Oh, when you cook them. Is it very, very watery? Okay, 22% okay, if you got it right. 90% of a mushroom is water. Now, everyone's having a go saying it's too hard tonight, but Ben and Stretch, whoever that is, is smashing it. So, you know... Everyone else, go and have a long look at yourselves because maybe you should all know how much water's in a mushroom, if we're being honest. Uh, which fruit has varieties including Tommy Atkins, Hayden, Kent, Keith, Atuflo, and Francis? Wow. Okay, is it peach, pineapple, mango, or apple? Kent should give it away. Should it? I think so. For me. Okay, oh, okay, more jokes coming up. My worst ever job, putting soft drinks in order of fizziness. It was so degrading. Let's be honest, you don't eat fruit. It's mango, as 11% of you said. Wow, this is too hard tonight, isn't it? I met this girl at a party and said, come outside and I'll show you a good time. So we did, and I ran 100 metres in 9.87 seconds. Awful. 23 people watching the hardest Bomber quiz ever. Okay, so we are nearly halfway through, and I'm ready for a beer. In which year was Bournemouth's favourite biscuit, my favourite biscuit, the Wagon Wheel, first available? Is it 54, 64, 44, or was it the year of my birth, 84? Um, yeah, Wagon Wheels. And I like the cheap chocolate on the outside, and I also detest the jammy ones. I just want a plain Wagon Wheel. They're wrong. What a wagon wheel. Mm. No. And the answer, as 44% of you said, is 1954, mm. the very first wagon wheel. Now, I've heard people tell me that wagon wheels the boys love have wagon actually wheels. decreased in size over the years, but if you look on the internet, the diameter is still the same. I thought they'd decreased, but maybe our hands have just got bigger. Okay, which ingredient is not oh, in with not in Worcestershire sauce? Is it Tamarind, anchovies, molasses, or tomato. Think about the colour, molasses. Think about the saltiness, anchovies. And then I'm not giving you any more clues. Dada, we've got something. Dada? Oh, not a potter, not right now. Okay. Ooh. You need a different glass. I need a sour one, Charlotte. And a different glass reporter. Okay, yeah, I do need a different glass reporter. And the answer is tomatoes, as 25% of you said. Anchovies are in there. That was quite easy. Um, well, Sarah thought that was quite easy. So basically, really? anyone who got that wrong... Sorry, she's but just then I read a lot all. of labels now. So. You do like reading labels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's gluten tolerant. She knows the ingredients of everything. Okay, how many breaths does the human body take daily on average? So just start breathing now. And think well. That's tw that's the that's twenty five seconds. So I'm going to do the number of twenty five seconds in a year in a, in a day, and then work that out. And it's easy, isn't it? Is it five thousand, seven and a half thousand, twenty thousand, or ten thousand? I'll give you the top five after this because we're on the science round. What have I got, Charlotte? Sour? No, that's not a sour. Oh, there's no sour. <sighs> anyway, question. and it is twenty thousand. Um, I'll give you the top five now quickly. Bend and stretch, surging ahead. Whoever you are, you're smashing it for 114 points. Otis is just ahead of Belushi. Sharon in fourth. And Tommy Tank in fifth. What was that? I don't know what that was. Yeah, that's better. What is a pack of rats called? Is it a mischief? Thieves. A pack? A chaos or a destruction? Is it a pack? Since I've put what is a pack of rats called, does that mean it's a pack? No. What have I got? No. Oh. Adam, find it in a bit. No, I'll find it. A fruity one, Adam. A fruity one. Okay, it's a mischief, as forty-four percent of you said. Well done. Actually, just anything will do. You can go and sort it, please. I can't cope with the arguments next door. Oh. Okay, it is a mischief of rats. A mischief of rats. I read that the other day humans eat more bananas than monkeys. That comes as no surprise as I've never eaten a monkey. How many eyes does a caterpillar have? Is it four, six, two, or eight? Four, six, two, or eight. 
So how many eyes does a caterpillar have? We are nearly at question 30. What have I got? What have I got? We've got three. Which one's <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Florida, Florida Weiss. Weiss. Yes, Florida Weiss. Well done, Adam. There you go. At least you've got a clue what you're Florida doing. Florida Weiss. So it says it's sour on it, not that. Does it? Oh. Six as 14% of you said. Do you can pour it? Yeah. Very carefully, carefully in that glass. More Could of an you angle. undo it? Unbelievable. I love being shouted at. Paul Gray has appeared out of nowhere. They're winning a Pictionary tonight. Well, not Paul. Paul. Ben and Stretch. They are ben and Stretch. Who are you? Because you're smashing it. Typically, what's the strongest the muscle in the human body? Is it the tongue? Is it the bicep? Is it the jaw? Or is it the tricep? What's the strongest muscle in the human body? Really See, I thought it was the think. Tongue. You know, a port scratching is pretty strong, isn't it? Just saying. So what's the strongest muscle in the human body? This is why you watch the stream as well. You see, look, look at the clues. Look at the clues. <laughs> it is the jaw. Think about as, dogs. As 29% of you hard. said, it's not a tongue. I've just finished dogs my sandwich filling high, degree. Ben. I do my final eggs ham tomorrow. Awful. Absolutely awful. So Ben and Stretch is flying, but we have one person rapidly catching up with them. Next, what is the smallest breed of dog? Is it a Pomeranian, a Yorkshire Terrier, a Russian Toy, Ooh, or a Chihuahua? Oh, I think I know. I should know this. I should know this. I should know this. Okay, it is, should you know? Is it that? It's... Oh. No, that's just a question. I got it off an internet is it, site. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it yeah. What's she saying? It's in the jaws of bone or a joint. Oh, um, it's a ch chihuahua. As forty percent of you said, yes. top five go. Chihuahua, top five. Um, in fifth is Paul. In <sighs> fourth is Soph. In sec third is Belushi. In second is Otis. And in th th first is Ben. Okay, the music round. Hopefully, we we'll have no arguments about this one. Which band was Noel Gallagher? The sound sound technology technician for before he joined oasis is it rain in spiral carpets cast or the cranberries sarah they're saying that the jaw is a bone or a joint um you wrote the questions what? i think actually uh when i gave you the answer i told you the muscle and put jaw in brackets next to it for you oh it's my fault then right. in spiral carpets there's 55 percent of you what's got. this here what's this what's all of this here look Mm. What's that? It's muscle. Apparently, the muscle's actually called something different, mm. but it's it's, it's mm. what holds the jaw in place. I'm going to do some uh, research now, um, and then we'll get back to you. Uh, Stupid Love. Jack, just concentrate on the round we're on. Uh, Stupid Love was a debut single from the album Chromatica, uh, Chromatica, from which singer? Lady Gaga? Is it Madonna, Beyonce, or Miley Cyrus? Um, and anyone who's interested in not banging on about that jaw question... Um, I'm now drinking a Florida Vice, also from the Thornbridge Brewery, yeah. and it is a hazy raspberry sour. Yeah, it isn't all out. Just... It's all right. I don't need it all out, Tom. Not yet. And it is Lady Gaga, as 51% of you said. Now, I thought that was quite an easy question, because you're all young and hip. Um, I didn't know that, because I'm not young or hip. I can't um, stand Lady Gaga. And I can't stand Lady Gaga, but... Alexa. <sighs> no. There you go. Look, what did I write? Okay. Apologies. Jaw start. question. The strongest muscle in the human body is actually called the masseter, which is the main jaw muscle. So it is right. Abba's final UK number one was released in 1980. But what was it? Take a chance on me. The winner takes it all. Thank you for the music or Super Trooper. So, yeah, it is the jaw muscle. Yeah, the masseter. Look at it all. You just wrote the answer. It's super wrong. trooper. Yes, I thought I'd fox you by... What's that mean? Yeah. Well, that's your last one then. Um, super trooper has 14% if you said. Okay. So that's Abba's final number one was super trooper in 1980. Yeah, I thought it was thank you for the music. And I think it's been number one since yeah, they split. I've, I've at least well, it nice was one. not in 1980. Roger Daltrey was the lead singer of which band? Uh, Small Faces, The Jam, The Who... Or Purple Hearts, that's your gimme. You should know this. Uh, the staff at London Zoo didn't seem to appreciate my Rod Hull impression. To be fair, 
Neither did the emu. Oh, that's really good. Um, no, I'm not. Jack, okay. And the answer is the who. As 81% of you said. We have got a flyaway winner tonight, Sarah. Mm -hmm. We don't know who it is. Don't know who it is, but I don't think it can be called. Four. And whoever Bend and Stretch is, could you tell us in the little comments? Well, they might not be watching my waffle. Okay, which glam rock artist featured in Labyrinth? I'll is it Alice Cooper, right? David Bowie, Lou Reed, or Let Mark go. Bolan? So, Alice mm -hmm. Cooper, David Bowie, Lou Reed, or Mark Bolan? Okay, all, all glam Bowie. rock artists, uh, but which one appeared in Labyrinth? Freaky film. Mm -hmm. I'd have said that if you give me. It is David Bowie, as 88% of you said. Bowie, though. And that's the end of that round. In first is still Bend and Stretch, Otis King in second, surging ahead of Belushi, Tommy Tank in fourth, and Sharon in equal fourth. And we're coming up to your round. Here we go. The Disney round. The genie was stuck in the lamp for how many years before Aladdin found him? Is it oh, 10,000 years, 5,000 years, 20,000 years, or 15,000 years? Very good, Jack. So how many years was the genie stuck in the lamp? No, it's not 15. Um, <laughs> it's 10,000 years. 10,000 years really gives you a crack in the neck. Yeah, you should have known that one. Sharon, you didn't get that right. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. I didn't get it right. So it's still close for fourth and still very close for second. But first, no. unless he really struggles on the next three rounds, is. It is done. Angelina Jolie, this is your gimme of the round. Brought which Disney villain to life? Is it Cruella de Vil, Ursula, Maleficent, or Lady Tremaine? Charlotte's had another paddy. She's going to bed soon. I was just trying to move. Yeah, I was just so trying to move her, but not happening. She's in a bad mood. Kids, in it. Uh, I, so... I like how you assume Ben and Stretch is a man. Oh, all right. Sexism at his worst. Uh, Maleficent as. 92% of you said, and in uh, as, as Cruella de Vil was actually brought to life by um, what's her name? Glenn Close, yes, Glenn Close. Oh, that's delicious! That is really delicious. Thanks, Vic. Uh, Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? Is it 10, 14, 16, or 12? So Duchess is a mother to how many kittens in the Aristocats? 10, 14, 16, or 12? Disney Man, he's getting a bit more obscure. <laughs> well, yeah, there's only so many Disney questions you can ask. Um, okay, so how many kittens in Aristocats? It's 12, as 42% no of you said. Shall it's we? still incredibly close between fourth and fifth. These two, but are they together? First... He or she in first. They. They. Yeah, it. I suppose it's just it. Them. Them. Maybe. Yes. I've lost four viewers since my sexism. Uh, from oh, which may. Disney film is the song Little April Showers? Is it Bambi, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Fox and the Hound, or Dumbo? I don't know. So drip, drip, drip. <laughs> Little April Showers. Um, which Disney film is it from? I'd say Dumbo because I think that's the only one I've actually. And, and the answer is White. Bambi. Yeah. Obviously, it's a forest, isn't it? Sixty-five uh, percent of you got that right. Sixty-five mm. percent of you are bang on. Drip, drip, drip. Little April showers. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there, there we go. Know. That's my singing it, Vic, just for you. Wait, what, what is this? Yeah, I know my hair is a state. I should have had it cut before oh, yeah. lockdown. Okay, what colour is Ariel's seashell bikini in The Little Mermaid? I just Ooh. sang it. Um, is it blue? Oh, obviously we're behind. Blue, purple, red, or orange? So what colour is Ariel's seashell bikini? Is it blue, purple, red, what? or orange? I thought it was pink. It's not pink, Adam. It's not an option. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't think it is that. No, and the answer it's this is the one I thought, yeah. purple. As forty-four percent of you said yes, maybe the coloration on your DVD slash Blu-ray suggests it's blue, but it's not. It's purple. And Charlotte I've, I've watched that red. many times. One of my favourites, Little Mermaid. It is purple. Oh, second. Oh, that fight on second. second. It is definitely red. Okay, we're on to the Lincolnshire round. This is the brand new round for today. Lincolnshire is home to Woolsthorpe Manor, which is famous for being a witch birthplace. John Franklin, Alfred Lorne Tennyson, Isaac Newton, or Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah, it's purple. It's purple. Yeah, like we said. That is not purple. Well, Charlotte's just got a Blu-ray case out because she didn't agree with us, and oh, she's yeah. been proved wrong. <laughs> oh, well, poor Charlotte. It's Isaac Newton, as 51% of you said. Oh, Alfred Lord Tennyson was born in Summersby in a, in a, in a, a grand house there, which no, I walked past a few weeks ago. The people who watch the vlog would know. Um, but it wasn't Walsall Manor. I used to mix up metaphors, but now that ship has flown. Um, what was uh, Lincoln Cathedral famous for for between 1311 and 1548? Is it the most expensive building in the world? Cost to build in brackets. Is it the largest cathedral in the world? Is it most spires on a cathedral in the UK? Or is it the tallest building in the world? Yeah, in the yeah. world. I think it is. Isn't it? Ladies and gents. That concludes our tour of the toilets. It is the tallest building in the world, as half of you got bang on. How mental is that? So it was the tallest building in the world for 238 years uh, until the spire collapsed in 1548. The cathedral took the honour from the Great Pyramid of Giza. Cool. Mm. Hey, Britain. Mm. Which range of hills in Lincolnshire is a designated area of outstanding natural beauty? Is it the Wolds, the Dales, the Fens, or is it the Moors? As I put my car in reverse, I thought to myself, "That's this takes me back. <laughs> oh, Paul, these get worse. I know, and I, and I know you've got to think them up on the fly, but jingies. It's the Wolds. Well oh, done. Oh. 88% of you. So we've got a fight for second, third, and fourth now, a real fight. And fifth is not too far behind. First, they're yeah, flying. You know, they've uh, really got to fall down in potluck. Really mm. got to fall down in potluck. Okay, next question. Lincolnshire is England's second biggest county after North Yorkshire. But which county comes a close third? Is it Somerset, Cumbria, Northumberland, or Cornwall? So which county is the third largest? That's a tangible to Lincolnshire mm. question. <laughs> my my job as a hieroglyphics reader finished all of a sudden. I was surprised, but the writing was on the wall. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, mm. answer awesome. is. And the answer is Cumbria, as 51% of you said. Yeah, I thought it was Ooh. Northumberland. Um, it's all changed. Oh, oh, man, the Spilsby Herbs have appeared out of nowhere. Hello, they love Lincolnshire. Clearly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, at, um, look at both sides. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. Okay. Right. Okay, next Something question. Now, Lincoln's around. Nicknamed Little Willy. <laughs> <laughs> the first prototype of what was constructed at William Open's Foster and Company in Lincoln? Is it the grenade, the machine gun, the military tank, or is it the handgun? What a dish. So, what was nicknamed Little Willy? <laughs> um, being as the, the behind, you might be able to tell them about the island with it on. Oh, oh what? I don't want to do that. Um, and the answer is... The military tank, as 57% of you said. I thought I might fox a few more of you with the grenades, because it's small, or the handgun. Uh, but it is the military tank. And the top five, quick, 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 Belushi in fifth, Spilsby Herman's in fourth, Sharon in third, Otis in second, and Bend and Stretch in first. It's Vic says, tight. you were nicknamed Little Willy. Very good, Vic. Okay, Women's Hour is a long-running programme on which radio station? Is it Radio 4, Radio 2, Talk Radio, or is it LBC? Okay, so is it Radio 4, Radio 2, Talk Radio, or LBC? I take great offence at that, Vic. You need to bring my wife into this conversation, because <laughs> you'll, you'll probably your prove you wrong. Vic, then... yes, yes. In school, actually, uh, I had a friend called Richard Herman, as you know. I was called Big Dick. He was called Little Dick. Okay. Okay, so anyway, let's let's stop. 
Let's stop this. Okay, Radio 4 has 70% of you said. I'll tell you what, the banter has been great tonight. Even the quiz has been very Let's, hard. Um, oh, I could change again. I know. Okay, so uh, Paul from saying this. So I got a box of celebrations and swapped all the wrappers around. When my wife had one, she got her Snickers in a Twix. Okay, which street in London takes its name from a croquet-like game once played by Charles I? One obscure, crazy question, that is. Whitechapel, Strand, Bow Street, or Pall Mall? If you think about it, you could probably take two out of the equation straight away. Still hard, isn't it? These are great questions, I think, but... Huh? Here's my quiz. It's Pall Mall, as 57% of you got. Correct. Oh, my God, it's changing again. I mean, take Ben and stretch out the equation. They've won. Okay, <laughs> they can put their keyboard down and forget it. Um, the Doesn't top four, second ahead. to fourth, to fifth even, could go anywhere. So I'm guessing the next five. That's the battle five. to watch. How many sides does a 20 pence piece have? Five, seven, eight, or six. So it's a bit like F1, this. You know the winner already, but watch the battles behind. And it's still exciting. Okay, uh, if you like pina coladas and get, getting caught in the rain... You've probably had too many pina coladas. <laughs> <laughs> That's your best one of the evening, apart from Timothy Dalton. Okay, so how many sides does a 20 piece have? Seven. Is it five, seven, eight, or six? And I'm just giving you the answer. It is seven. I just worked 44% it out. If you said. Oy. And it's still too close to call for second, third, or fourth, and fifth. Well, okay, two questions Not left. Yet. Question 49. Just got to say, Charlotte's been a pain tonight for anyone who's watching, who's a fan of hers. Um, in which month does the star sign Scorpio begin? Is it October, September, this November, or August? So, in which month does the star sign Scorpio begin? No, Taurus, that's not the answer, Jack. That's not a month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, in which month does Scorpio begin? It is. October, as 29% of you said. And quickly, for the last question, uh, the Ben and Stretch have won. Uh, Otis and Sharon are separated by seven points, so this could get tasty. The Spursby Herman's in fourth, and Kaz mm. reappeared Yeah, but they're only six points fifth. beyond them. Yes, so we could have a change. And the they're only four points beyond three. them. So here we go. What's astrophobia? Is it the fear of the unknown? Is it the fear of rain? Is it the fear of thunder and lightning? Or is it the fear of the moon? <laughs> I love if I was scared of the moon. Imagine ooh, looking up every night. You can't go out at night. <laughs> Just been to a university challenge themed restaurant. The main course was forty five pounds, so I had a starter for ten. Actually. So what is astrophobia? It's the fear of thunder and lightning. I love forty two percent of you said it was the fear of the moon. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, it kind of does make sense. <laughs> I mean, it, from the name, yeah, I get the name, but it yeah. is the fear Are you ready? of thunder and Charles lightning. Charles going to read the top ten. If anybody wants to comment, with okay, that. go. In tenth, right? So, in tenth is Richard. In ninth is Tommy. In eighth um, is Sean. Yeah, uh, could you? Sean. Sean. And um, in seventh is Paul. In sixth is Kaz. In fifth is Spilsby Herdman. <laughs> <laughs> in fourth is Belushi, in third is Sharon, in Ex -winner. second is Otis, and in first is Ben and Stretch. Well done, Ben and Stretch. Whoever you are. Whoever you are, you absolutely smashed it. You might not even be watching this, but congratulations. Ben if anybody stretch. wants to comment, where they go. Okay, so if anyone wants to comment quickly, I'll be on live for about two more minutes. Uh, tell me where you came. Vic says um, she thinks they were last. There were 27 teams now, I think, which is, I think, not quite a record, but maybe the second largest we've ever had. Um, good quiz, says Paul. Video was buffering a lot, though. Oh, dear. Um, can't believe I just sat from my job as a taxi driver. I always went the extra mile for my customers. And Bend and Stretch is me. Vic, you just told me you were last. Uh, 21st. Uh, Jack Padot, well done. Uh, tricky questions. Will you stop using the Z tonight? Uh, bre please stop. Um, yes, yeah, so... <laughs> might hold to ego. Um, yeah, it might well, but I don't know. I can't. Do you think it could be you? 
I don't know. Um, had a poor start, great middle, poor end, 20th. Uh, thank you for another great quiz. Thank you, Justina. 16th place, that's all right. That's in the middle. That's not too bad at all. It was a hard one tonight. Can't promise it'll be any easier next week. I'll so, put some more give um, Thank you to the bomb, please. Herman, you know, you came fifth. Stop using the letter Z or you'll be coming Sorry. 11th. Promise. It wouldn't take uh, that off his, off his students. Yeah, you, you wouldn't take that off your students, David. Um, so where did the other Hermans come? I can't see them anywhere. I can't see them anywhere. Uh, Christine Bomber was 23rd. Uh, said it was a bit rubbish, but it was fun. That's all right. Yeah. Mm. Stay home. Yeah, stay home. Stay, stay safe. Home. And uh, get learning your trivia a bit more. So that's that's the answer, isn't it? So um, anyway, I'm going now because I'm tired. I'm hot and I want some crisps. Um, we need to back to school. Oh, Herman family, the back to school round leveraged the quiz so far in your direction. That's the other Herman's. Oh no, that's Spilsby Herman's. No, that's the Herman family. Family. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, on, the, on, the on there. Oh. Where's the... Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Because it's different. They can't have back to school. Arguments. No, Arguments no. yard. No, we're not having back to school round. Um, You'd win. It hurts it my head. Nice. <laughs> I was getting too many complaints. I mean, I could come back anyway, like, it's uh, 8.43, so the evening's still ahead of you. So if you've really not enjoyed this, I'm sorry. you've still got a few hours to go. It's not been a co complete... Yeah. It's not been a complete write-off of an evening. So that's all right. Um, of course, same time next week, we'll be on at 8 o'clock, well, about 10 to 8 on the YouTube, if you can cope with my face for another hour. And of course, we're here all the way through until, um, well, the end of this lockdown slash whatever it is. Name the wrestling video game round. I think I might do that. I might do that. Well yeah. done, Herman family. That sounds like the best round ever. Very niche, but very good. So How I will do see. You do name the wrestler video game round. Okay. Anyway, I will see you all next week. Oh, because our station would be so distorted. About ten to eight. Let's hope this one is a lot less annoying. And I hope you all have a lovely week. Stay safe. Be careful out there, and well, we'll see you. Only go out if you need to. Yeah, only go out if you need to. You know, Lou but I'm not the prime minister, so I can't tell you what to do. But <laughs> anyway, I will see you next week at about. 10 to 8. Thank you all so much for taking part, as always. See you. Bye.